Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! Now, she's missing. Alice? Quit! Alice! Dive! Attaboy! I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Oh, shit! What is up, everybody? And welcome back to Alan Wake. Ooh, three years ago, New York City. Okay, getting some backstory here. Dude, that power board is just fully exposed. Was that a power board? I don't know. Looked like it. Gas meter? Maybe it was a gas meter. That would make more sense. Honey, I'm home. Oh. Back here, sweetie. Hello. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. Thermos. It'll warm you up. Okay. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. This is a lovely office. you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Dude. An apartment like this in the middle of New York City is that oh wow this has got to be like a million dollars <laughs> this guy must be one hell of a successful writer I've seen like what apartments are going for right now in New York and it is abysmal <laughs> not that I'd ever live there it'd just be not too much for me but I mean they show up on TikTok you know what I'm saying that's getting banned in America now that'll date this video <laughs> this is interesting though I wonder what the purpose of this is. Switch on the coffee maker. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Okay. Did we just get a new TV? We haven't set it up yet. It's in the box still. Nice photo. We're a very artistic couple, aren't we? Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. Okay. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. <laughs> oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Oh. Alan got some. Ooh. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. Alan, I know she's afraid of the dark. I know, I know, don't worry. I'm right I got here. it. I'm on it, honey. Please, it hurry. is the fuse box. This is dangerous. That should have a cover. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Do you want me to stay here with the flashlight? Hi. Hello. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm I know, here. it's stupid. But it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> oh. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. <laughs> you made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. That's sweet. I thought he was just going to hand her a flashlight. <laughs> just like, there you go. When you get dark, Dubby, just turn on the flashlight. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be like a million dollar apartment straight up. Ooh, present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. What about my wife? Everyone's just kind of like blase. Oh, and Mr. Wake, we're done here. 
if the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I got to suffer well, big let's fish. Get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Okay. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Hmm. I think we're at the police station. We are. All right, let's have a quick. It's look true at this. what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Hey, his voice was different too there. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. What the hell? It's like a freaking Rorschach monologue. The city runs with piss and shit. Everything seems to be fine. Hmm. Okay. A lot of missing people. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Oh, it's that woman from the diner. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you. Isn't it? Just in case. Looks like it. Mr. Wake. Oh. The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Uh, okay. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on, um, well, other things these days. Like the dark? Ooh, thermos! Ooh, manuscript! Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Oh, I wonder if that actually happened. Sounds like you know who. Oh, that's the radio. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the gray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. Ugh. I think, yeah. They're not going to be fine in Stucky. He disappeared when I shot him. The sheriff him. wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wick. Okie dokie. Sarah. Sheriff Sarah Burke. Breaker. That's the one I was about to say. Burke. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. Oh. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thanks. Did you look through my phone? Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. Uh, I walked out of the cabin. Not a good start. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hmm. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? What? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is what? this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. Mr. Wade, Park. can I help There's you with anything? There's a Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey, hey of Mr. Course, Mr. Wake. Hey, you can get through the light. south corridor. The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen Hang on, I got you, buddy. I got you, I got you. There's, oh, my bad. 
You got it. You're alright. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. Okay. Enjoy the light. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Yeah, also, my wife wasn't kidnapped by a man. She fell into the lake. So what's going on here? Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their time. Hmm. All right, just seems like a report about what happened last night. Look, I'm starting to wonder if this is all in his head. <laughs> because why would... No, there's, there was no guy. I'm thinking he's just making it up in his head as he goes. And it would make sense from the perspective of him writing, right? Because it's like, it's a story that he's creating in his mind. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Okay, there's a hole. Oh, come on, get over the fence. Nope. Jesus, Alan. How unathletic are you? There you go. Here we go. Oh, oh, damn. Apparently he is athletic. Just kick the shit out of him. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Okay. Barry? Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. This is so bizarre. What is happening? I'm assuming it's a... Maybe he lost his mind and actually did do his wife in? That would be insane. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall in the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? This is so strange. I thought for sure it was a supernatural thing. It might still be, but it could be- Ooh! A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. Right. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. I am so confused right now. Maybe it's a psychological thing. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. <laughs> the cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation oh, yeah. with her That's on right, she several did. occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh my! Take it easy. Okay, well, now you're going to a jail cell. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. God damn. <laughs> Go, Barry. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels oh. won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. You know what? Pretty tough for like a straight up brain doctor. <laughs> also, what a badass agent. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. 
kind of an asshole though, calling them yokels, but I love that. Hey, get your hands off my client. <laughs> I away. had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. Oh. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled mm. money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. Mm. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Oh! Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Okay. Who's Max? I'm wondering if this is a whole scheme to get him riding. You know what I mean? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy? And his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? Well, are you high? Have you been drinking? <laughs> no! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just. Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. All right, wait here. All right, I... it's hard to argue with that, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm so confused. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake, I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, cool, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Bucktooth okay. Charlie? Sure. Jesus, what's what with happened? all the names? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some low life. Yeah. Yeah. That, that would be kind of shitty. Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. I thought you didn't believe me. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can do uh, it now. I was really hoping he was going to believe me, but it, it is a hard story to believe, I suppose. Even actually, even I don't know what's going on anymore. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wade. Damn, that was easy. Glad to have you staying here. You didn't need to check Thanks. my license can or anything? Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Okie dokie, sounds good. Thanks, Rusty. Take if care of the puppas. trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, Jesus, that's a fucking far away away. What the hell? Okay. But he said it was easy. Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy oh. who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Do you hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms? I get it. Strapped to their I get it. It's crazy. Sometimes, you know, it's nice to just have a friend that when you tell this stuff to, they're just like, I believe you. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. Uh, this is not a goddamn debate, uh, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay. Okay, then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Barry's got friggin' <sighs> Just be careful with allergies the allergies. Well. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all <laughs> over again. Okay, Barry. Jesus. 
I'm pretty sure that these aren't those types, alright? And also, you can stop calling them yokels. I mean, I suppose I'm no better. I was saying redneck and stuff before. But that was a joke. This guy seems serious. Ooh, batteries. That's a beautiful fireplace. Damn. I think that's it. But let me just double oh, this check. This place is trying to kill me. I bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. More than likely. So not worth a 15% commission. Dude, why don't you go sit down by the fire? That seems like a much nicer place to be. Just do that, okay? Switch lights. Oh. No, I, I don't want to do that to him. <laughs> what if the darkness comes for him? Alright, <clears throat> into the woods we go. Oh, another crow. You better not bring your pals around. Alrighty. Wait oh. here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Watch the door now. Okay, Barry. Enjoy the night. I still got a gun? How did I get a gun? Maybe Barry had one. <laughs> got, got, went and got my agent to bring me a gun. <laughs> oh, manuscript. Anything in the shed? Dead body in the fridge? No? Can't I take that car? I would really like to take that car. Alrighty. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, mm. and they had Alice. Or it's all in your head, and you are losing your mind, sir. But it'd be kind of weird. Maybe it's a bit of both. Like, it's a bit of supernatural, a bit of psychological. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought I was about to be attacked by a flock of freaking crazy crows. Okay. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Yeah, no shit, dude. You're riding in third person now. What the hell? Okay. Oh, radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Ooh. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? Oh! You make it sound a lot more I saw you! I, I saw you, you plan. asshole! <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, no plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do If I go out there, is he gonna attack me? Oh, tell me about oh. it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm gonna check out the farm before. Come on, where are you? I know you're here. I'm not staying around, you know what I mean? Waiting for him to just bust in on me. Just take me out. Oh, oh, that's a bit scary. Why are you swinging? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Something bad's happening. Oh no, what's happening? I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> I hated that. Can I go up here? No. Surely I could climb that. Alright, we're going this way. Lover's Peak is that way. Moonshine Cave. All that stuff. Alright. Well. Check this cabin first. Let's hope there's no one dangerous in here. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Woo. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We got anything? Nope. Oh. Radio again. Oh! It's another one of these! Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish, especially in Night Springs. Night Springs! Tonight's episode, The Man in the Mirror. Okay. 
Let's watch the man in the mirror. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. That sentence really flows, huh? That's just a weird way to word it. Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? This is weird. <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. Oh, you bastard. Oh. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. It got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Wait, so it's like a doppelganger thing? Evil doppelganger? Okay, interesting. Night Springs! <laughs> Alright. Back to the thing at hand. My kidnapped wife. <laughs> Took a freaking nice little two minute hiatus to watch a TV show. <laughs> oh, man. There's gonna be some cool stuff up here, right? Ooh, manuscript? Manuscript! Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and oh. she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Right. That's sad. Rusty just likes her and she's like, but you're not Prince Charming. And he's like, well, fucking get a grip on reality. There is no Prince Charming. <laughs> oh, well. Poor guy. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Oh, no. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Right, that's not good, because I'm guessing that's going to happen. Not to bore Rusty. He seems like a good dude. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Oh, oh. Oh shit! What the hell? Rusty, hang on. I'm coming! Please help me. I'm coming, big guy! Hold on! Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Anybody? Help me! I'm coming! Help. What help the me. fuck happened here? Can you hear me? Anyone? Yeah, I'm coming! Please help! Hello? Shit! Rusty! Mr. Wake? That was quick. I thought we had time before this was oh, going to happen. Hell. His it leg. Happened just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. 
The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Okay. So, quickly run over here. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Yeah. Hang on. How did I not see that for a second? I just saw the word came up. I was like, The what? visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Crap. What? Yeah, come on. Let's get in there. All right, all right, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, there's a manuscript over there. Give me a second. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Okay. Keep that in mind. When I see an axe, move. <laughs> Simple. I like it. Simple instructions. Ah. Oh. It was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh, crap. 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 No! No! Rusty, I'm coming! I'm coming, buddy! Oh, shit! I got this, I got this. Crap! Ah! Come on! You guys so accurate at throwing things. Oh, crap. Ooh, that was lucky. Ooh. Rusty, you in here, buddy? Crap, they got him. They got him. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Oh. Please don't feed the animals. Oh no. Not Rusty. No. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. No! No bay! The park ranger's instructions. Get off! No! Ooh! Rusty, no! Never! Rusty, stop! Think about Max! Never approach any other world. Crap, 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 crap. Closer than 45 yards. He just took off. Pets must be He didn't want any of the smoke. Ah! Never! Ooh. Oh, where is he? Where is he? There he is. You don't want this smoke. Yeah! Damn! Oh. Oh. No, you don't! Shit! This thing doesn't hold enough rounds! In the face! In the face! Yeah! I'm sorry, Rusty! Uh, I did what I had to. Sorry, big guy. Ah, uh, I feel bad. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Oh! They don't. Any more surprises? I'm supposed to be meeting a kidnapper. <laughs> What's going on here? I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just gonna. Oh, that tree fell. What is going on with this place? Can I go through there? No. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I can. Oh. 
If this is the kidnapper, I'm going to be like, you would not believe what is happening right now. <laughs> what the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. Barry? I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. No. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Okay, so now, I'm not. Be careful. He sees it too. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Okay, so this is happening. Actually, I should have figured that. There were all the other signs, like the people missing, the fact that even the sheriff couldn't find, uh, what's his name? I've forgotten his name already. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she oh, was. That's sad. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Ah, oh, that's sad. They would have made a cute couple too. The diner waitress and the park ranger. Ah. Ah. Alright. Time to go save my wife. <laughs> this is insane. The kidnapper's not going to be out here, man. If he is, he's dead. For your safety, stay in the designated hiking trail. Okay, makes sense. I mean, I don't see how that's going to keep me safe when we've got axe-throwing shadow men in the woods. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Well, then I'm going left. <laughs> ah, I gotta just, gotta go for it. Oh. Is there anything around? Yay! I thought so. Uh-oh. Oh! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Eee! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! 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 For a second they were breaking. Ow! God damn it! Can't you guys make a little bit more noise? Mm. Mm. Oh! Man, I wish I had some flares. Do I even have flares? I should probably check at some point. Ow! It hit me with a wrench! Huh. Man, I am almost dead. I'm gonna run back into the light. The light heals me, doesn't it? I think it does, doesn't it? Does the light heal me? I hope it does. We're about to find out. Come on. Come on, light, heal me. Oh, I'm gaining health anyway. Do I just regen health? Oh yeah, no, but you heal a lot quicker in the light. Like a lot quicker. Which again, makes me think this is a psychological thing. <laughs> ah, I don't know what's going on. Could be, I think it's a bit of both. I think it's, maybe it's a supernatural thing causing a psychological thing. I think that's what's going on here. Because at the same time, it's like, there's no way that everybody else would be like, no, yeah, there are people missing and there's a bunch of stuff going on. Unless it really is one of those situations that turns out that Alan just be out here killing people and hiding them and no one knew. All right, what's in here? Oh. Is this like a tourist attraction? Hidden cave? Hmm. Kind of cool. Kind of scary. Moonshine cave. Oh. What type of moonshine? <laughs> oh. oh, yes! Yes! So worth it. This was so worth it. Flare gun, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, nom, 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 yummy, 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 yummy. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I wanted. This is what I got. I am so happy. Nobody's gonna fuck with me now. Now the question is, is the kidnapper a shadow man? That will be interesting, because if it's just a dude, I'm gonna be like, how are you tied to any of this? Also, where is my wife? <laughs> Alright, this is where we were, yep. Run down here. Hiking trail. Stay on the hiking trail for my safety. That's what they said. Oh. Beautiful environments. 
I'd love to go hiking in the woods at night. As weird as that sounds. <laughs> like, I'm sure it'd be eerie, but it looks so nice with the fog. Oh, 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 something bad's happening. The music's kicking up. I, I don't like it. Oh, the wind's, the wind's picking up. I'm running. Nope. Nope. No! No! And I'm safe. Woo! Give me, thank you. Another shotgun. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna stay here for a bit. <laughs> Take a breather. All right, let's do this. Oh, okay. All righty, I can do this. I can do this. I got this. I gotta save my wife. Ah! Aha! You know what, I've, I've got an idea. I'm gonna start saving battery by letting them get real close. Using up, there we go, and then I boost on them. Just helps me save battery, you know what I mean? Instead of wasting it. Wow, this guy can take some shots, huh? Oh, it's because he's wearing a mask. There we go. Ah. Oh, oh, I see another one behind the tree. I see you. You think you're sneaky. You are not, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa! Woo -hoo. That was close. Woo! Ow! Dude, they are so accurate! <laughs> Good thing my gun bullets move faster than your hand hammers. The great old one. Felled by lightning in 1937, an exceptionally tall Rocky Mountain Douglas fir. Excellent tree history. Oh, I see his. I see his. Oh, God damn it, really, guys? Oh, I am so annoyed right now. Ow! Okay, it's starting to become evidently clear that unless I dodge, they just like automatically hit, which is kind of dumb. Really, if they throw in a line and I move... Yeah, see, like that! That's, that's what should be happening more often. Back up, guys. Back up. Seriously. I know I'm a famous rider, but... No contact! Ugh. Oh! Oh, that should've hit, to be fair. <laughs> Alright, that was a bit of a waste, I think, but... They were close, and I was scared. <laughs> Lover's Peak? Yep. Still on the trail. Oh. Oh, there they are. Here they come. Why are there so many Shadow Woodsmen? I'm starting to question if these are all separate dudes or just the same guys over and over again. Because if so, Alan out here, like, you know, racking up numbers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's going to be a lot more missing people at the end of the week. Okay, seriously, back up. Okay, two shots left with my shotgun, which I am not happy about. But, you know, we do what we can. I need ammo badly. I hope there's one of those, like, weird things up here that I can open. Yes, it looks like there is. Oh, generator. No, 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 no. I, I want to generate it. Go, 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 Yeah! Light! Drop hazard. Well, stay away from cliffs, then. Yes, revolver ammo. And it looks like someone wrecked the phone. Great. Well, I got a cell phone anyway. <laughs> Probably not getting any coverage, but still. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. Yeah, we've been finding those. Interesting. 
bear alert. Oh, please don't tell me there are shadow bears. I will shit an absolute brick if there are shadow bears. <laughs> like, what the hell? Hey, get out of here, birdie. Oh, that's a bloody rag on that rock. That's not a good sign. Oh, no. This seems like... Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm gonna hide amongst the rocks. Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh, I see how it is. It was an ambush, huh? Come on. Come to Papa. Flare! Woo! That's three of you. You will not escape me. Flares are so useful. Oh, someone just threw a hammer. Oh, there we go. Come on. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Whew. All right. Oh, this way. This way to Lover's Creek. Not Lover's Creek, Lover's Peak. <laughs> Heading to a different spot. Uh, can I can't go through there, can I? Oh wait, I can. Yeah, of course I can just jump over it, can't I? All right, here we are. And now we wait. <laughs> Oh no, I just had a bad thought. What if the reason why this is so slow is because they're gonna have crows attack me, I bet. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Ow! What the shit was that? Right, okay. I knew it, I knew it. I knew it, something bad was gonna happen, I knew it. What the hell? Oh! Crows! Shit! Ugh. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh, lads, just let me grab my flashlight real quick. Uh. You saved me! Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. Okay! Who are you? Are you the guy that's been leaving me the trunks full of stuff? Flashlights, kid stuff. Oh. All right, there's no need the to flares will keep the bastards degrade away. me. The flares, yeah, but the flares are kind of useful. I don't want to waste them, you know? So who's really the strategist here? That's all I'm saying. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Okay. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but- Let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on. But I had a shotgun. A moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first Oh, arrived. yeah! He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kid. Oh, shit! Come on, wait. You better keep up. You kidnapped my wife! Oh, fuck! Yeah, shoot him! Ow! Asshole! Oh, okay, that is different. Different kind of flare situation. Not flare gun, just regular flares. I would help you out, buddy, but I don't have a gun. You, you gotta do all the shooting for me. Look out behind you! Nice, good work. Put one in him. Good! I'm out here working as a team with my wife's kidnapper. Ah! Back up! That's right. Ah! Yeah! Get flared! Dude, you're missing terribly. What is going on right now? Ah, there's no melee attack, really? Okay, so... 
rid of these stairs, Wade. Apparently he can shoot the sometimes. The emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards. I gotcha, I gotcha. Be gone. <laughs> yeah, no can do, Wade. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Pull them off, damn it. How? Just by throwing flares at them like an ass? Oh, crap. Here they come. Back up. Back up. Scare them off. Flares! Yeah! I bet you don't like the light, huh? That's right. You guys don't like the light. Oh, no. Here they come. Yeah! 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 Get away! Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go! Mm. Up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs! Come on, where are you, you goddamn kidnapper? Oh, there we go. Come on! Oh, you feeling better now, Wake? All cozy and safe. Dude, I swear I'm gonna push you off a cliff. <laughs> Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Can I? How did I lose my shotgun and my revolver? That is embarrassing. What are we doing here, man? This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. I don't have a gun. Goddamn gun! They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. What is the point of all this then? Get away! There we go. Get some nice light going. There's got to be a weapon around here I can use, right? Defend the viewing platform. Is that it? Well, what am I supposed to do? Are we just going to fight all of them? Every single one in the forest? I'm not going to use up all my flares, because I don't know how long this is going to go for. Come on, load up and fire, dude. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, what the hell? They're climbing up the sides? Oh my god. This is so bad. Come on, help me! Oh shit. There we go. Oh, oh. Come on. Shoot him. Oh. Okay. We done? No, we're not. We're definitely not done. Oh. Eee. Whoa, what the hell is that's a real big one. That's a big fella. Ah. Come on, 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 come on. Ooh. Oh! Holy crap, he almost killed me! Shoot his ass! Keep shooting his ass! No! Ah! Okay. Gotta be a little bit smarter about this this time because now I know this goes on for a fair amount of time! We are apparently fighting every single woodsman in this forest. Man, I, if only I could at least, like, pick up one of the hatchets and just fight with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, surely. Oh, whoa, whoa! Back up! Ah, ah! Ow! Ow! Okay, I'm gonna die again. I'm so gonna die again. Dude, I need a weapon. What is this? Does he seriously expect me just to like... 
I don't know, be his like little support guy. Ah, uh, here they come. We got a twofer. Oh no, I just dropped it down the ledge like an idiot. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Look out behind you! Ah, God, I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you so much! Woo -hoo. Shoot this man! Thank you! Oh! He's so big and he hits so hard! Okay, I got this! Ah, I got this! Come on! Oh! Ah! Son of a bitch! There's got to be a way to do this. Woo! Ooh, that was close. Mind you. There we go. Here they come. All right. Get okay. out, out. Ooh. 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. I've resigned myself to death. Oh! I was lucky. Yeah. Oh, I'm still alive! And I haven't used any of my flares yet. Here they come. Get flared! Get flared! I'm gonna get this thermos. <laughs> Maybe I can hit them with the thermos. Yeah! Be gone, demon! I have the power of caffeine! I can't see him. Yeah, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, Jesus! You couldn't come through before! What the hell? There we go. E. Come on, shoot them, dude. Shoot them. Ow! Sweet Lord Baby Jesus! He ain't going down. Yeah! Shoot him. Shoot his ass. Shoot him! Just shoot him! Oh, thank Christ! I might actually win this! See? Nothing to the one time I was like, okay, I'm just gonna die, and I won! There you go! So that's the attitude from now on. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What? what the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. Well, that didn't go well, did it? Alan's pretty strong, man. <laughs> He'd be punching people through, like, barriers and shit. Oh, revolver! Crap. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice. Do you hear me? Yes. Come back here. He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had... On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign. And nothing was safe or innocent anymore. 
I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Mm. Back to Barry and figure out my next move. That is good writing. I like that. The idea of when something's wrapped in darkness, it becomes something different. I like that. You are a good writer, Mr. Wake. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is so dangerous. Maybe we should check in with Barry. Should give him a call. Hey, where you going? I saw you. Ah! Mother Ah, I Rusty did warn me about these. It yeah. Like hell. I was stuck. All right, keep an eye out for bear traps. All right, they, they're getting harder to break down these guys. I gotta keep that in mind. Not so easy anymore. Ah, bear trap. Ow! Oh! I thought there was something in there I was supposed to get. That's why it was sparkling, apparently not. Ah! I hate you. You attacked me while I was in a bear trap. That is some low shit, man. Eee! What I wouldn't do for my shotgun and my flares right now. Yeah, no thank you. Oh, there's a lot of these. Dude, dude, who laid out all of these bear traps? This is clearly not for a bear. Ah! Like, how sneaky do they think these bears are? This is clearly for a person. Alright, gotta be careful. Okay. I think we're good. <gasps> yes! Ammo and tings. Gimme, 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 gimme. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh, I thought I saw a shadow. Like Shadow Man, not oh, sorry. I mean, the fucking forest is full of shadows, but you know what I mean. Just like, yeah, you saw a shadow. Oh, 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 holy shit, it's a fucking ambush. It really was. Oh, I don't have flares. I don't have flares. This is my worst nightmare. Shit. Oh. Oh, that was lucky. Ow. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Ooh. Holy shit. Oh. Ooh. All right. I'm not down for this. When the wind kicks up like this, it usually starts to get really bad. And I'm out of batteries. Shit, shit, I needed a flare gun. I needed a flare gun for this. Ow! Man, I shouldn't have used up all my flares. Ooh! 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 Shit! I'm out! I just gotta wait for my freaking flashlight to charge up. I should have gotten a crank one. At least if I could crank it. Ah! Fucking hell. I don't even know if I'm backing up into a cliff's edge right now. Oh. Cool. Oh. oh, no, that's okay. I had plenty of forest. <laughs> cool. Man, I need ammo and batteries so badly. Like, so, 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 so badly. Oh, here we go. A shack. There must be things in the shack. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew I heard footsteps. And it had to be a big guy too, didn't it? Oh, I needed the batteries. Don't be an asshole. Arrgh! 
just unload. Come on, load up, load up, load up, load up. Come here. Where is he? Come here, come on. Come over here. Yeah! Now, where's the other one? There was two. I hear you. Where are you? There you are. Mmm! Mmm! Whoo! Give me that. Oh! Oh, yes, the light. The light. Alright, surely there's a lot of good stuff in here for me. A thermos! Didn't really need that, but okay. I was hoping more for batteries. Manuscript page! The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Oh, no. Oh, hunting rifle. Yeah. So in other words, just when I think I'm safe, I'm going to get attacked by a man with a chainsaw. It's freaking RE4 all over again. <laughs> this way? No? Maybe. Oh. Yes. This is bad. This is very bad. This seems like a dangerous place to be. I hear running. Yep. Whoa. Oh, I always catch it too late. I had to waste my flare there. Ow. God damn it, you guys. Ah, ow. Ow. Oh, I am so dead. Ooh. Oh, that tree saved me. Come on. No! Please no more of them. Please no more of them. Oh! Oh! Alright. I am literally fighting for survival. Ah! Come on. Nope. Ah! Yep. Ow. Nope. Yep. I got cornered. That was my mistake. And then... From the right and from the left should be... Yep, yeah, here he comes! Oh, what? I swear I dodged! That was lame. Hmm. Ooh. Ow! You and your... Goddamn, I'm so used to the concept of, like... If he throws something while I'm swaying, he should miss. But no. Apparently these guys are very good at calculating trajectory. Alright, 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 alright. No! Ah! Uh, ooh! Lucky, 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 lucky. Uh, made me waste my flare because I panicked. Oh. Anyone else? Anybody else want some of this? Some stuff over here. Nice, nice. Whew. I hate this. <laughs> Tell you what, but actually, I am so stoked that I'm actually playing this because for the longest time, I only, like, I didn't necessarily avoid it, but, like, for example, I wasn't a horror gamer for a long time. And now that I am, like, really getting into horror games, I'm glad that they remastered this so I had the chance to play it and enjoy it because this is good. This is really good. I mean, could it be a little bit scarier? Yeah, sure. It's more, like, anxiety-inducing from, like, the shadow men just showing up out of nowhere but i like the story everything's really fun oh even the mechanics with the flashlight are awesome it's just generally a good you know survival horror game ah again with the hammers
I'm honestly so excited to play number two to see what, what they do with it. Because you know that they will change it a little bit. But hopefully not too much, because I like the mechanics of this. Okay, I am now officially out of batteries again. Hmm. Now I'm worried that when they when he said in the manuscript, just when I thought I was out of the woods, I heard a chainsaw. I feel like this might be it. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, ow. Because wouldn't this just be the most worst place to get stuck with a guy with a chainsaw? Just like in such an enclosed space. Yes. Although I really would settle for some batteries. Ah! What the shit? Oh, it's this thing on the ground, yeah. Gotta watch out for those. Ooh. No? Keep expecting to hear a chainsaw rev up. Maybe this isn't it. Oh, manuscript. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Those were the two guys who went out looking after I got arrested, I think. Mulligan and, and the other one. We heard them on the, the dispatch radio. So they came up here, and I'm guessing maybe they never came back. Oh. That works. Oh, manuscript. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom and you're really watching a horror show. Mm. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Oh, there we go. We gotta get back to Barry. Uh, oh, flares. You can be my hero, baby. Thermos! You can... Something, something away the pain. Do, do, do. I think I'm messing this song up. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Was that not where I was supposed to go? Okay. No? Oh, wait. There's a ladder. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. This is so far just a creepy woodmill. Nothing too dangerous about it. Never mind. Okay, no, nothing. It was nothing. Ooh. So, uh... All of this just to find my ex-wife and... Oh, the darkness wears her face. Ah! And now we know that that guy, the supposed kidnapper, let's be honest, didn't, I mean, he for sure didn't kidnap her. But then why did he pick up, unless, and then he also said it was all part of, ow, the story. So he's obviously read the book and decided he's going to follow it for some reason. Mm, 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 yeah. Oh, I hated that. Yeah.
Is there a way into this? Because I'm sure there'll be stuff. Yeah, there's a manuscript in there. I knew it. There's always stuff in these places. <gasps> oh, hunting rifle again. All right. I think I can jump on these. I can! Would you look at that? Shadow stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. There's one of them boxes I can grab stuff out of. Oh, God. Oh, come on, Alan. You really gotta stop being so... So uncoordinated. <laughs> some boxes you can get up, some you can't. Yeah, batteries. Alright, I'm going straight up because I think... Oh! No, 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 no. Ah, oh, another... Wow, that was actually quite an intricate little trap. Kudos, huh? Here they come. Just let it slowly whittle him down. Slowly. Ooh! Oh no. There we go. Time for the big guns. Boom! Alright, make it through the woods. Still no chainsaw, which is good. But I'm sure it's coming. I'm sure it's coming. I'm coming, Barry. Don't you worry. I will not abandon my agent. <laughs> Is that the house up there already? Did I make it back that quickly? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Batteries. And I'm all stocked up on revolver ammo, so apparently I can't get that. Uh... No? Do I just run through? Oh, I do! It's a door, not a fence. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh no! Here it is! Ah, oh, god damn! Chainsaw man! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, and he's got goons. Of course he's got goons. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Oh. Mm. Okay. One shot left for this big guy. Yeah, get flared. Oh, wow, 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 wow. He can just take it, huh? Ah, oh my god! Yeah, he, he takes it out of you. Ah! Wow! Okay, no messing around with Chainsaw Man then. <laughs> I gotta take this one very seriously. Chainsaw Man's no joke. Alright, quick reload, because I hated that last situation. Alright. Bring it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Where are they? Here we go. Okay. Come on, Chainsaw Man. Don't be shy. Yeah! He's gonna come walking through that, isn't he? Just like a beast. Mm, 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 mm. Switch gun. No time to reload. Oh, yes! That's what you call a tactical switch out. Your gun runs out. No time. Just switch. Bang! Oh, lucky. Alright, wasn't as bad as I was thinking. <laughs> He just takes a lot of health when he hits, though. 
the hell? Elderwood National Park. Yeah. I was really hoping this was the cabin. I apparently got a lot further to go. Barry? Is that you, Barry? Barry? Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. I'm coming, Barry. Don't you worry about it. Oh, it's all shaky again. Oh, okay. Gotta get there, save Barry, kill the birds. We got this. Coming, buddy. I'm coming. Barry's never abandoned me. He always made sure I had my TiVo. Ooh, I another still boss. I had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. Yeah. Uh, let's just hope we don't run into another chainsaw man. I'm hoping that the chainsaw man that was being referred to was that one. Oh, yes. Is that a manuscript page? I think it is. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it, but it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing, though, because it sounds like he was just paranoid and made himself look worse, but I don't know. This is bad. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Garage keys. Woohoo! Oh. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. I am so confused by this, like... Whoa. Whoa! Oh, he was in the bathroom stall! Oh, Jesus, you creeper! Um, what, did he just disappear? I think he just disappeared. Yeah, I think he's gone. Alright, you stay in there. Um, yeah, I, I don't get this logic that he's running with, which is like, if the story dies, Alice dies. Is it like a, a, a blackmail situation? A hostage situation? Or is it that she is somehow the embodiment of the story? Hmm... All right, all right, to Barry. Am I actually gonna drive or is this just gonna cut to a scene? Oh my God, I'm actually driving. This is awesome. I don't, oh, I'm gonna run him over. I'm just gonna run him over. Oh, dude, I love this. I love this. I love games where you don't expect to drive and then you just get to drive. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, shit. Oh! That was close. Oh, no, the road's completely blocked. Okay. Ah, that was close. All right, I gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Oh, this way. This way. Yep. Sorry, buddy. You're in the way. Ow. Okay, up we go. I wish this thing steered a little better. Oh, 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 this way. Follow the trail. Come on. Whoa! Oh, you assholes. They did that on purpose. Hold down X to boost the lights. Oh. Can I go around? Damn it. Am I going to have to get out of my car? I really like being in the car. I feel so safe. Alright. Let's see if there's another way. There might not be. 
Whoa! Whoa! That was close. <laughs> Just smashed it. Alright, I, I don't think I'm gonna have a choice here. No. Alright. See, can I get out? Okay, yes I can. Alright, I'm coming, Barry! I'm coming! Ooh, whoa, whoa, I hated that sound. That sounded like a huge ass crow, not just like a bunch the of little ones. Gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. All right. Coming, big man. Whoa! Holy shit, where'd you guys come from? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Shit. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Uh. Okay, seriously, that thing should not be stopping bullets. Oh. Ah, piss off. You know what? I'm wasting one. Whew! Checkpoint reached. Yeah, they're gone. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. How do we know she has a? I don't. I mean, he has a. Listen, listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need. A week. It's not done. I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. That's a lot of birds. Also, how do we know that he has my wife? I, we don't, you know what I mean? Oh, well, actually, we heard a voice, didn't we? We did hear a voice, actually. Barry That's a good point. Talked about birds over the phone. I'm coming, Barry! Oh, flares, flares, so many flares. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna flare it up. Oh. Ow. Ow, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. Okay. These birds are weird. Yeah, no shit. Uh What am I doing? Dude, are you going to let me in or what? Ah, shit. Okay, no, yeah, I'm straight up fighting the birds. Come on then. When they come at me. When they come at me. Come on. Come at me. I need them to come at me because then it'll be a straight line. Oh no, that worked. I'm trying, bud. I'm trying. Oh, oh my god. Ah! So many of them. Oh! Ah! I hate the noise. They seem to just flank me every time, and I hate that. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Oh! Again! Ah! I need more flares. Here they come! Oh, oh! Come on. Where are you? Oh! Oh, that, that, that did basically do the job. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are! Oh! Almost got away. Ah, they, that's why they're appearing out of literally nowhere. They're not actually coming from the, up above. That's how they're able to just flank me. They're generating next to me. 
and behind me. Oh my god, I'm I'm gonna die. Not today! I refuse! Barry? You can open the door now. They're gone. Come on, Barry. Yes, this way. Hey, Al. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Oh! I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. What is that, like a manifestation of writer's block? For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. Mm. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. This is so meta. This is so meta. <laughs> Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. I know. See you soon. She did not sound right. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old dear diner. Oh Good no. Girl. See what is with her? This is so messed up. What is going on? So it's real. It is real though because other people are experiencing it. Oh. oh! Oh no! Oh! No, there's no point in intimidating! No! Ooh. Ah! Okay! From that run! Oh my god! Ah! No! Whoa! This is so epic! <laughs> But oh, we're lucky to be alive right now. No roll cage or nothing. Oh, that's not good. <laughs>